Welcome back besties and painting buddies. We'll be using one of the cheapest art supplies I could lay my hands on. It's a little bit thin and loose but we are going to make this work with a £1 canvas and a £3 oil paint. I'm going to start off by selecting the colours I will be using for this portrait. I will need yellow ochre, I will need bon sienna, black, deep red, titanium white, sap green, orange and burnt umber. Given that this is going to be a portrait, creating skin tones will be the main focus. I will start off by mixing to get different shades of brown. Burnt sienna and titanium white mixed together provides the skin base that I will be working with. And next, I am mixing Bon Sienna and Yellow Ochre. This is just another skin base as well. Just think about trying to apply your makeup and the colours that you need. Now to help create volume, I will need Bon Amber mixed with Titanium White. In order for me to make it more vibrant, I'll mix Bon Amber with Yellow Ochre. I tend to use Yellow Ochre to prevent my paintings from looking dull. Think about your reference that you'll be painting from. Some part might look greenish brown, yellowish brown, greyish brown, pinkish brown, reddish brown. So this is just how I mix my colours to look the part. Instead of using an actual grey, an actual black, an actual pink on my painting. These are the things to consider when painting realism. You can tell that I'm just diving into painting freehand without a pencil sketch. Honestly, I have no faith at all that this painting is going to look exactly like the reference because of how I'm starting off, as this is my third time painting freehand, but my first time painting freehand on a tiny canvas. But not just any canvas, a cheap canvas. But anyways, why don't you get some tea or coffee or might as well get a canvas and palette and paint with me. For the lips, I'm going to mix deep red and titanium white to help enhance the purplish pinkish colour. I will add a little bit of brown in it as well. When mixing colours, I would advise that you disregard what you were told about mixing colours, but actually be in the present and look at your reference and paint what you see. Instead of asking yourself, what do I mix to get purplish brown? What do I mix to get greyish 
pinkish, violet or whatever colour you're trying to get. Instead of asking yourself that, I would advise you to look at your palette, look at the colours that you have with you and then what colour is closer to the colour that you're looking for. Use that colour and apply it and then add it to whatever colours that it looks like. Like for a black skin tone, I can see that brown is close enough. And also, because of the highlight, I, th I can see that yellow is a bit close enough to a brown skin. So what do I do? I mix yellow ochre and burnt uh, amber, or that's for a dark skin, or I can mix yellow ochre and burnt sienna, which will give me the exact skin tone that I'm looking for. If it's looking a bit greenish brown, then I can add burnt amber and yellow ochre. To give it a bit more volume, add a little bit of black.
Hey besties and painted and buddies, tell me you are still there. And for those that were able to watch it all the way to the end, please guess in the comment section below who you think this is. The first person to get it will be receiving this beautiful painting at their doorstep. And also, if you have any question regarding this painting or questions in general about painting, please let me know in the comment section below. Bye!